Writing linear equations. The equation of a line in a slip intercept form is this. It is y equals to mx plus b. m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is b. To write the equation of a line, first we need to identify the slope. So you need to have the slope m. Then if you have one point, the value of x and y, then you can solve for b. Let's take a look at these examples. Let's say we have two points here. Now we want to find the slope. So first we need to find the slope, then we can write the equation of the line. So we have two points. We know that the equation of uh, the, the formula for the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that is m, which is the slope. Now, here, let's just choose this one as x1. You could put x1 here, doesn't matter. Then this one is y1, x2, and y2. You could just flip this. x2 here, x1 here, y2 here, y1 here, doesn't matter. Now, y2 here, we chose 4, so it is 4 minus, what is y1? y1 is negative 3, so if you plug in negative 3 for y1, then for x2 we have 3 minus, and x1 is 2, equals to 4 minus negative 3, negative 2 negative is positive, is actually 4 plus 3 over 3 minus 2 is just 1, so the slope is 7. Now, if you write the equation of a line like this one, we know that y is 7x plus b. But you're not done yet because we don't have the y-intercept here. We need to find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, just plug, choose one of these two points and plug in the value of x and y. Then you will have equation, one equation, and you can solve for b. So let's just choose this point. x is 2 and y is negative 3. So x is 2 here and y is negative 3. So we could say negative 3 or y equals to 7 times, what is x? x is 2 plus b. Now it is just one equation. It is negative 3 equals to 14 plus b. Now, if you subtract 14 from both sides, you get b. b equals to negative 3 minus 14 is negative 17. So here, y equals to 7x minus 17 is the equation of the line that passes through these two points. x, y equals to 7x minus 17. Let's take a look at the next one. So equation here, so let's say this x1, this is y1, x2, y2. Now y2 is 6 minus y1 is 3 over x2 is 2 minus negative 4, minus negative 4. So it, write it down, 6 minus 3 is just 3. Then 2 minus negative 4 is just 2 plus 4, which is 6. So the slope is 1 half. Now we have y equals to 1 half, 1 half x plus b. Now choose one of these two points. Let's just choose this one this time. So y is 6 equals to 1 half times x. What is x? x is 2 plus b. Now if you solve for b, 6 equals to 1 half times 2 is just 1. So 1 plus what number you get 6? B is 5. So here, the equation of the line, of this line, is y equals to 1 half x plus 5. Let's take a look at one more example here. Again, we need to choose y and 1. Let's say that this one is y, uh, it's x2 this time. 
and y2 and this one is x1 y1 so y2 is 2 minus y1 is 6 over x2 is negative 3 minus and y uh, this one is x2 minus x1 so x1 is 0 negative 3 minus 0 equals 2 now 2 minus 4 minus 6 is negative 4 over negative 3 minus 0 is just negative 3 which is 4 over 3 now 4 over 3 is the slope of the line so if you write y equals to 4 over 3 x plus b now to solve for b to solve for b we just need to plug and choose one point one of these two and plug in the values let's choose this one let's say x is 0 then y6 equals to 4 over 3 times 0 plus b so 4 over 3 times 0 is just 0 so b is 6 b equals to 6 now if b is 6 then the equation of this line is y equals to 4 over 3 x plus 6 you have three more exercises here then you can do it you can also find uh, the answer if you if you want to practice more then uh, just take a look at uh, the practices that we provided uh, for this lesson.